If you would like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to Learn Gemeter series. In this season 4, episode 6, we are going to see about groovy control structures. Under conditional control structures, we are going to see about if, else and switch case. It is also possible to have the nested if statements or nested switch case statements. Under loop control structure, we are going to see about for, for, in, while and do while. If statement is similar to any other language like C or Java where you have to mention the condition inside the parenthesis and if the condition is met then it will execute the code of block otherwise it will go to the next block of code. So in this example we have the random number A some random number and B again it generates the random number and if A is greater than B then it will print A is greater than B otherwise it will go to the else if if A equals B then it will print the a is equals b otherwise it will just prints a is less than b so this is a very simple example using the if else statement in groovy next we are going to see about switch so switch it will help you to evaluate multiple uh, conditions so based on your case it will execute the block of code otherwise it will execute the default uh, statement so here we have two different examples one is using the regex pattern so the regex it will just check whether there is a match of the uh, string hello groovy so in this case it will just print contains g otherwise it will just print uh, just a string and the second example we have the range so we have initialized the variable b which equals 12 and we are just checking whether it is in the range between 11 to 15 so then it will print the within the range otherwise it just prints the default value uh, default string called integer just like any other language, it is also possible to have the nested if statements or nested switch case statements in Groovy. Next, under the conditional uh, loop structures, we are going to see about for and for in. So for is just like any other language like C where we have to mention the initialize the variable and we have to uh, mention the condition and then we have to increment or decrement. And based on your uh, uh, condition until it gets satisfactory, it will just uh, repeat the uh, print statements. So here we have the uh, simple example where we, it just prints number 1 to 10 and the second example we have the range uh, basically it's an array uh, apple orange papaya and just uh, loops through each uh, item and it just prints and next we have the maps where the key value pair is there it just print the uh, student uh, details so it just print uh, ram equals uh, 98 ganesh equals 100 and shiva equals 95 so there's are three different examples for uh, for and for in so here uh, just like in python for i in something similar to python we are using the syntax here next we are going to see about a while and do while so while here we are just initializing some variable and it just uh, prints the value uh, until that condition is satisfactory but inside the while we are just incrementing so that uh, at some point of time it will just meet the condition and then it will exit out of the uh, loop and we are making use of the assert keyword and the next is do while so after uh, the assert is executed then it will just execute do first then it will increment so the difference between while and do while is while it will just evaluate the condition first then it will go inside the block but do it just executes then evaluate the condition so for each uh, while and do while we have the assertion just to make sure the value of c is uh, properly uh, evaluated or not Next, we are going to see uh, these demos in Jmeter. So this is my simple Jmeter test plan, which is available in GitHub repository. You can just uh, fork or download the uh, Jmeter test plan. First, we will see about if else statement. So here we have defined the two variables a comma b, and uh, we are generating some random number. So first, a will have get will get the random number, and b will get the random number, and we are just evaluating whether which is greater than. Uh, which is greater or which is smaller or which is equals using the uh, if statements. So let me execute this. Before that, let me just bring the console to the left and increase the font size. And on the right side, we have the uh, Jmeter and uh, let me execute this. So here, if you see the output, uh, the value of A in runtime is two and uh, value of B is uh, three. So two is less than three. That is why it is printing the uh, respective statement now let us disable this and enable the switch 
uh, statement. So here we are just defining uh, a string hello groovy and we are evaluating the regular expression. So in this case it evaluates and then it will go inside the print uh, statement and uh, we have the another variable b which is equals to l and uh, it will evaluate whether it is in the range between 11 and uh, 15 then it will evaluate the uh, print uh, statement. So if you execute this it will just displace contains g and within the range. So this is the example of a switch case uh, statement. Now let me enable the uh, the for statements. So for here we just prints uh, the range from 1 to 10 and the second example is for in. So for each fruit it will just print the fruit name and maps it will just print the uh, key value pair. So if you execute this you will get the uh, number 1 to 10 and the fruits uh, apple orange papaya and you will get the key value pair the student name and the student marks. So this is how the for statements will work in Groovy. Now let me disable this and enable the while. So while first it will uh, evaluate the statement C which uh, is less than uh, 10 then it will print the value then it will increment till the value of a C is equals to 10. And uh, line number 8 it just asserting the value C whether it should be equals to 11. Yes it, it will be equal to 11 then it will go to the uh, do statement and do just prints the value C and then it will increment till the value is uh, equals to 20 and then it is uh, evaluating the value of C should be equal to 21. So if you execute this it will just print from number 1 to uh, 10 and 11 to 20. So these are the very commonly used statements uh, in Groovy which will be very helpful uh, for custom coding if you are working for a specific business case in JMeter. That's it guys on my side. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Feel free to join my QA Insights community. And thanks for watching. Have a good day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.